Nemo Radio is on the air. A, B, C. A, always B, B, C. Closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. Come after me! I'm a man! I'm 40! Hey, it's John Nemo. Welcome back to another episode of Nemo Radio. And I am holding in my hand, which you can't see because this is a podcast, (laughs) the single best marketing funnel I have ever seen. In over a decade of doing lead generation and marketing and branding, having an agency, you know, getting my clients, leads, everything, nothing has ever worked better for myself, my clients, my business than what I'm holding in my hand. And what I'm holding in my hand is a book. So, like, and the beautiful thing is, the beautiful thing is, and, and I'm going to link in the show notes to the video training for this. So if you're not aware, uh, Noon with Nemo is back. Now, if you haven't ever heard of Noon with Nemo, every single Friday at noon, Central Time, USA, here in great old Minnesota, uh, I go live on the internet. And so basically, and I'll put a links in the show notes to Noon with Nemo and all that good stuff so you can sign up. Every Friday for an hour, I go live and I do a training or a strategy or a script or a technique or something I'm finding that's working really well that you can immediately implement when it comes to lead generation, marketing, branding, podcasting, webinars, sales, mindset, anything like that. And so on a recent Noon with Nemo session, I went deep on, again, what I call the single best marketing tool, funnel, strategy I've ever seen. And that all involves publishing a book and then making that really the bedrock of your business and your lead generation efforts. And what I really explained in the training, and again, I'll link to that in the show notes so you can watch the video and see and look over my shoulder as I do it all, um, is it's not hard. Like, I think when people think about publishing a book, they think, oh my gosh, I've got to have like 100,000 words and, you know, 500 pages and everything has changed. Everything has changed. So let me unpack it a little bit for you here in audio format. And then again, obviously you can, you know, click in the show notes and watch the video and all that good stuff. But let me explain a little bit about why publishing a book is so powerful and why it is really honestly the single best marketing, you know, tool, marketing strategy on the planet. The simple reason is honestly, like your prospects still consider a book, a badge of honor. They still consider that a high level marker of authority, credibility, and expertise. No way around it. There's just something different about how that hits your prospects as opposed to a blog post, a video, a webinar, a podcast, right? It just sounds silly. Like, for instance, think about if you're going to speak locally and someone can say, oh, hey, we want to introduce today's speaker. This is John Nemo. He literally wrote the book on LinkedIn, right? LinkedIn Riches. And he's got free copies for everyone. You know, like there's a different aura attached to a published author. And I'm speaking to somebody who's been trying to publish books and has published books since, gosh, the late 1990s, right? So, I've seen the whole industry change, and where I really want to start is how easy it is to publish a book. The reality is, and I talked about it on the Noon with an Emo session, but if you have a few long blog posts, a couple thousand words, that's a book. What do I mean by that? I mean that if you have enough pre-existing content that you've already written, could be a bunch of marketing emails, could be some blog posts, could be some, quote, ebooks, right, which are like glorified PDFs that we share as lead magnets, you can put that into a book. It's very, very simple. So for example, my most recent book, you know, the ultimate LinkedIn profile template is literally just me repurposing some blog posts and scripts and some screenshots and um, some emails about how to create a client attracting LinkedIn profile. So I literally just took content I'd already written and published online as blog posts and status updates and emails. I put it all into Google Docs. So if you use Google Docs, which is Google's answer to Microsoft Word, you literally can copy paste the text, format it. You can put in a table of contents at the top. It's super easy to do. And basically Google Docs lets you also drag in images and screenshots and it formats them. So you can put images right into your book, screenshots and pictures, 
literally it's so simple if you just use Google Docs, which, oh, by the way, is free, right? So, so again, I just copy pasted the text, cleaned it up, spell checked, dragged in some screenshots, dragged in some photos, dropped them in, created a table of contents. Voila, I had the interior of an ebook, a Kindle book. Okay, super simple. And oh, by the way, Google Docs will let you export your text file as an EPUB document, which is what you need when you upload books to sell them on Amazon or Apple or anywhere else, you know, Kindle, etc. So I then hired a designer to make a really nice cover, right? Because again, people judge a book by its cover to this day, even fully digital books. And that's critical. So I have a really cool cover for this ultimate LinkedIn profile book. Um, it looks like LinkedIn, you know, et cetera. It's got great design, colors, everything like that. But this is how simple it is. You literally can just take a blog post or some emails and publish it as a book. What you do is Amazon has a complete self-publishing platform now. And again, there's links to it in the ne- Noon with Nemo training, all that good stuff. But you literally, within five minutes, can be a published author on Amazon.com. It is that simple. It's as simple as uploading that file you made on Google Docs, uploading a cover image, or they even have cover images you can use and edit, right? Because Amazon wants books on the platform and they want you self-publishing. Now, when I first started in the late 90s and the early 2000s, now I've self-published eight books. I got one book that I guess in theory technically had a publisher. It was a disaster. It was a small publisher for one of my fiction books, but all my other books I've self-published. And Depending on how old you are, if you're an old geezer like me, you remember that back in the day, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s, you know, self-publishing was kind of a black mark. Like, oh, you're not published by Random House or, you know, Penguin Books or whoever, Simon & Schuster. And it was more like, oh, your book won't sell because you're only self-published. Well, that's all changed. Even when I started self-publishing in the early 2000s, like what I realized very quickly was literally nobody cared. Like nobody cares who publishes your book. So if that's a hang up for you, like you can just set that aside as a relic of the 80s and 90s along with tube socks and vanilla ice and, you know, everything else. Like it doesn't matter anymore. What people are looking for is content. And and the other big thing is it's so simple, the tools now that you can literally in five minutes publish a book on Amazon. And again, the other hangout that people have when they say, well, I can't publish a book. I don't have a book in me, you know, and I'm talking again about obviously nonfiction business books, you know, that you're using as part of a funnel, which I'm going to get into in a little bit. But again, you don't need a super long book. I think the ultimate LinkedIn profile template book, which is doing fantastic, is a couple thousand words. It's very short and sweet and to the point, and it has tons of screenshots and artwork um, that I just put in the book, right, just dragged in there. Again, because the whole idea of the book is to get people a result that they desire as quickly as possible. Remember, your book doesn't have to just be long-winded just so that you feel good about publishing a thick book, right? People just want results. They're buying business books to learn something, to get a quick win, to implement something. So, as long as your book does that, you don't have to get hung up on the, the amount of words. And the other thing is, since it's free to self-publish through Amazon's platform so that you can publish books on Kindle and paperback and hardcover, uh, you should publish as many books as you can, right? Because again, you want to have a whole library of books. What I've discovered is Amazon.com is basically just one of the world's biggest search engines for people looking for business tips. Literally, people are going to Amazon.com, people that have never heard of me and never will, right? Because they're going to Amazon.com and typing in LinkedIn book, LinkedIn marketing book, LinkedIn profile book, or say you are an executive coach on leadership. They're typing in leadership book, executive leadership book. And what's showing up is search results. And depending on how many books have been published on Amazon on that topic, how many user reviews and ratings and comments and likes and sales, right? It'll populate the search results, just like Google does, right? It's the same model as Google. It's just Amazon. And what I found about this was, and again, this now we're getting into the funnel part of it. So again, it's not hard to publish a book. It's easy to do. Just repurpose some content you already have around a certain topic, clean it up, put it in Google Docs, edit it, give it a table of contents, put in some photos if you want for the interior. You literally drag and drop them into Google Docs and they're there. 
publish that hire I would say hire someone to do the cover you know do a front cover page at least so it looks really cool with a you know the the screenshot on Amazon and, and the book page and the book description and I have all of this covered uh, in the you know new with Nemo training and some of my content courses and things like that but anyway get the book live, get multiple books live. So I've got a book on LinkedIn profiles and now I've got the LinkedIn riches, the main book. And, you know, eventually I'll have a book on how to sell on LinkedIn or how to do one-on-one LinkedIn messages. And like, there's all these different routes that you can go. Um, But again, the idea is twofold. One is the more books you publish on Amazon on these topics, uh, the more people are going to quote, find you online. Now, the beautiful thing that I learned, which shocked me at first was, you know, well, I'm going to sell this book on Amazon, you know, certainly I don't want to just give it away, right? And oh, I don't want to cannibalize my sales, because if I'm giving the book away for free online, you know, people are, are not going to buy it on Amazon. And, and what I found was that's not true. So like the, the first core part of the book funnel, and why it works so well, is you literally need to treat your book like a business card. You don't sell your business cards. You give your business card away to anyone and everyone you come across, right? Your book is now your business card. So what I do everywhere I go online or if I go to an in-person event, I actually print copies of my book because with um, self-publishing on Amazon and printing on demand, you can order author copies of your book for like one, two, three, four dollars a copy depending on you know, how thick your book is, how much design, color, graphics, all that. So like, for example, when I go to speak at a live event, like I spoke at Social Media Marketing World a couple of times out in San Diego, well, thousands of people attend. I had a session on LinkedIn. And so I printed out, I think like 400 books. So it cost me probably like $4 a book times 400, like $1,600 plus shipping. So probably around, you know, $1,700, whatever it was. But when I went into my session and three, four hundred people showed up, I was able to give each attendee a free copy of my book to take home, like a hard copy. And think about how much more potent and powerful that was for each conference attendee who came home with stacks of business cards and handouts and flyers and tchotchke to have a book to read on the plane home. Right. And then I would walk around the floor at the Social Media Marketing World trade show And when I would meet people or just introduce myself, I would literally hand them copies of my book and be like, hey, you guys, do you guys uh, want any tips on LinkedIn marketing? Do you guys use LinkedIn at all? Yeah. You know, I just find a group of people sitting around like, yeah, we do. I'm like, hey, you want a free copy of my book? What? Like it was an instant icebreaker introduction. And again, I spent about less than $2,000 to print out those hard copies. Well, keep in mind, uh, one done for you coaching client for me or done for you um, LinkedIn lead generation client is five figures. If I sell one online course, my online course for LinkedIn riches is $2,000. Right? So like 400 books, if I got one sale, you know, I either broke even or like 10 X my investment. So that's the beauty of treating your book like a business card. So obviously it's a physical business card when you're going around town, if you're still doing coffee meetings or networking or speaking live, Bring copies of your book, hand it out, right? Like candy. That's what my first boss said. I remember my first job as a newspaper reporter. My boss gave me a stack of business cards with my name on it and said, go around town and hand these out like candy. You cannot get your name in front of enough people. Like you, that's your job. You're a reporter. You got to get in front of everybody. So I never forgot that lesson. And so I hand it out physically. But then the beautiful thing is you can hand it out digitally. So what I mean is the front page of your website. And if you go to linkedinriches.com, the front top center of my website says, you know, ready to get more leads with LinkedIn, download a free copy of my book. Literally, there's an opt in with 3D artwork of the LinkedIn Riches book on the very front and center of my page. So people can instantly get the entire book for free as a digital download, meaning the PDF file, the Kindle file, which is an EPUB or the audio book. And that's another thing I really recommend is doing an audiobook version because people love audiobooks. They're huge. You're listening to a podcast right now. You love audio because you can consume audiobooks and podcasts while you're doing something else, driving, walking the dog, traveling, folding laundry, right? Whatever it is, working out. Audio is massive. So if you're going to do a book, do an audio version too. Now, with all that said, uh, I give away my book for free on the front page of my website. Every single podcast I go on, I say, hey, if you liked what you're learning today about LinkedIn, you know, go to LinkedInRiches.com, get a free copy of my book. Everywhere I publish any kind of content, guest blogs, status updates, top of my LinkedIn profile, get a free copy of the book, free book, free book, free book. A lot of people, myself included, thought, oh, no, well, if you're giving away your book for free, 
that'll kill your Amazon sales. Hasn't affected them one bit. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Here's the cold, hard reality that, uh, you know, might be hard for you to hear. It was hard for me to realize at first, but nobody knows who I am. <laughs> nobody knows who you are. The people that are going to Amazon have never heard of you, right? I, I've probably had, I count on one hand how many times people are like, oh, I didn't realize your book was free. I just bought it on Amazon. And oh, by the way, I priced the book on Amazon for 99 cents or free. So again, my goal is not to make money off book sales. My goal is to make money off online course sales, done for you clients, coaching, consulting, whatever. Those are the high ticket items that you want your book to lead to, especially if you're a coach, a consultant, small business owner, you're not worried about making book royalties your you know big main source of revenue. Because if you think about book royalties, on a print book, you might get two, three, four dollars per book, self-published. On Kindle sales, you might get a couple dollars a book if you price your book really expensively. My goal is, again, just to get people to buy it. Because here's how the funnel works. Whether they get the book on Amazon, because again, they're treating Amazon like a search engine, or whether they're coming in and Googling LinkedIn book, because then if they Google free LinkedIn book, ideally I'm showing up on Google search results, oh, free LinkedIn book, go here, right? You just wanna get them into your world. And the reason you wanna get your book into everyone's hands is, if you do a good job in your book, that makes the back end high ticket sales incredibly easy and stress free and seamless. And what I mean by that, well, what goes into a good book is obviously you have to demonstrate expertise. You have to get people quick wins. You have to share, you know, methods and scripts and strategies that they read and go, wow, this is great. I can use this right away and I can implement it. And that's what I try to do in my books on LinkedIn. The other part of it, though, is you have to put your personality into the book. And what I mean by that is I think about my business coach. I hired him and I've been giving him money for over a decade uh, because I read his book. So I was looking for a business coach back when I had a day job and I wanted to quit my day job in 2012 and was scared to go out on my own. And I was trying to open a marketing agency and I was looking for books on marketing and branding and, you know, all those different things. And I found a book called Brand Against the Machine written by a guy named John Michael Morgan. And what I remember was it was a brilliant book on marketing and great marketing strategies and ideas. But more importantly, John put his personality in the book. He was super funny and self-deprecating. And he had these funny mother-in-law jokes. Like he had this funny love-hate relationship with his mother-in-law where he would tell stories like, yeah, I took my kids to the zoo, pointed at the uh, animal cages and said, hey, that's where grandma lives. You know, <laughs> like, It was just awesome. I'm like, not only is this guy giving great marketing advice, he's the kind of guy I'd love to have a beer with and laugh. And then sure enough, at the end of the book, John is like, yeah, I'm a business coach. Da, 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 da. I hit him up on Twitter. I'm like, I loved your book. I want to hire you. Like, take my money. I've been worried with him forever. And that's because of his book. Not only did he demonstrate expertise in the book, but he put his personality in. And so what does great content look like? This is a formula I share all the time is personal story plus business lesson equals the content. So tell great stories involving you and personal stories, life experiences, and tie them to a business lesson, tie them to a strategy, tie them to a script, tie them to an example of something you want to teach people that creates great content, creates great books. And so even if you don't have a bunch of stories about yourself, borrow from society, right? There's so many that you can use. And what happens is when people read your book, because it's heavier and more involved and it's a different experience than reading a single tweet or a status update or watching a one minute video, there's more bonding going on there. There's a deeper relationship. I think about every book I've read that I've really enjoyed, business book otherwise, I become a quote fan of the author. Don't you? Like if you read a really good book, a really good business book or fiction or whatever, you like like the author. You just immediately associate good feelings with that person. Like, man, that was a great book. I so enjoyed it. I love what they shared. I love this and this and this about it. You now are a fan of that author. And how cool would it be if you could meet the author? And I, wow, even cooler if you could work with the author. Well, that's what your book does. Your book puts you not on a pedestal, but it puts you in a position of authority and credibility where people now, when they come to you, you already have kind of the upper leg in negotiations because they've read your book. 
They've fallen in love with your strategies. They've ideally gotten some quick wins. They've seen you demonstrate expertise, so you know what you're talking about. You've put enough personality into your book and stories that they feel like they know you and trust you and can relate to you and empathize with you. And your journey is very similar to theirs, et cetera, et cetera. So when you get to the point of now they want to do business with you, so much easier. I see this every single day when I'm doing sales for our LinkedIn lead generation agency. If someone has never heard of me, just found me on Google, Googled LinkedIn leads and, you know, filled out a form and wants to talk to me, the lack of trust is insane. <laughs> like, even though the front page of my website says, you know, featured in the New York Times, which I recently was, Inc. Magazine, like all these social proof things I have on my website, you go to the testimonials for our LinkedIn lead generation, we have people on there, real people with real names. I made $100,000 working with John's agency. I made $50,000 sale. I made a $24,000 sale in less than a day. Like all these real people, verifiable facts, look them up, all the social proof in the world. It, the sales are still really difficult. And, and the reason is they don't know me. They don't know me. They don't like me. They don't trust me personally. And that even though I have all this social proof, that I will get them and get their world and that I can do for them what all these other clients say that Nemo Media Group did. What bridges that gap is the book. Because when they read my book, they read about my hero's journey and they read about my struggles and they read about what I learned and they see my time in the trenches figuring out LinkedIn lead gen and they relate to it. And then I put in a lot of personality and you know share how I'm a you know stay-at-home dad and three wild boys and Rosie the dog. And I'm approachable, I'm likable, I'm a normal person who figured out how to help people use LinkedIn to get leads, right? And what happens is if they go through the book, A, they're sold on the strategies and the strategies make sense and the method makes sense. B, they know and like me as a person. So then C, it's very easy to have a sales conversation because the trust is already built. Whereas if you start from ice cold, I've never heard of you, but I need leads on LinkedIn. Your stuff looks impressive, but I'm skeptical. Then it's a much more long, difficult sale. And this is where if you do it right with book funnels, the content creates the empathy, the content creates the trust, the content creates the commonality, and it saves you all that time. Content helps you kind of scale one-on-one -on -one relationship trust building. That's what I've really found, and that's the secret to not spending you know, 100 hours a day on calls trying to convince people, right? Your content does your job for you, and your content qualifies people. So they come in expecting to have, you know, to work with you is not going to be cheap. When I read John Michael Morgan's book and how brilliant it was, and then also loved his personality, I expected to have to pay him a lot of money to coach me because he must be a really big deal. This book is so good and he's so like, he's so accomplished and everything else. And yeah, he was really expensive and he was worth every penny and still is like, but again, it wasn't, it, if I hadn't read his book first, I'd be like, who are you? Like you, you call yourself a coach. What does that even mean? whoop de doo right? I'm skeptical. So all that said, like what goes into a great book funnel is step one is obviously getting the book out there. Step two is just giving it away for free anywhere and everywhere. And then the third step is obviously creating a great book. But the next step is how do you take it further? How do you turn that those readers into paying clients? What I've really found is super effective is obviously you want to get people from your book onto an email list, from your book into a conversation. And so what I do is in all my books, I say, hey, if you're really enjoying this content, if you're finding these strategies helpful and you want more, do you want bonus training videos? Because obviously most books are even digital books. It's too hard to put videos in. You know, I know there are some that do, but it's much easier just to say, hey, if you're enjoying the ultimate LinkedIn profile template book and you want to you know, take it further with some hands on training videos, look over my shoulder as I update LinkedIn profiles, go to, you know, X, Y, Z URL and you can get a free bonus training. And what people do is they will go from your book to a landing page, opt in and get more training. And so what I do is I create free online courses based on the books. People opt in for the free online course because they want more. When you read a great book, you want more. You want more of the author. You want more of the tips. What else do they have? What else can I get? Offer them free training to enhance it. And what I do is then I use that free training, you know, videos and additional scripts and more current updates, whatever it might be, so that they get even more of my personality, demonstrating expertise, all that good stuff, get to know, like, and trust me even more. Then from there, they're now on an email list where I can sell them something. I can say, hey, you've read the book, you've been through the free training, 
What do you think? Right? Qualify them. Ask them questions. What do you think? Do you find it helpful? Tell me more about yourself. What type of work do you do? What are you looking to achieve? Who's your target audience? Then they tell you, and then you can customize what you show them next. Oh, cool. You're a business coach looking to use LinkedIn to get clients. Awesome. You might want to explore our done for you service. We've had a ton of success with business coaches. Here's examples and case studies. Or, you know, they might say, oh, well, I'm really looking to kind of learn how to do this myself. Oh, cool. Well, if you want to go even beyond the book and the free course, I have a full paid online on-demand training called LinkedIn Riches for this dollar amount that you can sign up. It's all on-demand training videos, modules, scripts, downloads, templates. Knock yourself out. You can you can take the paid course and go crazy, right? Uh, oh, no, I want coaching or consulting one-on-one, or I want you to come speak to my company. You know, okay, workshop. Like, again, you can route people all these different directions with the book as the basis for entry, as opposed to, well, I saw your status update. That was cool, but I don't really know, like, or trust you. You know what I mean? So, again, there's so much more to it, um, but it's really those are the basics is, again, once you get the book published, put in links in there and like with ebooks and pdfs and kindles you can make them clickable like tap here click here to go to the landing page to get the free training opt in put them on an email list give them more content i I just have found just anecdotally and just statistically all my high ticket clients all my easiest closes all my best sales all my you know smoothest most seamless sales uh high ticket stuff has been people who read the book first so much so that if a total random cold stranger reaches out to me online even if they look like a good prospect i still before i get on a call live with them i'll say well you know i know you don't know me at all i you know maybe my stuff looks good but i would love to give you a free copy of my book um just so you can get familiar with it and see if this is what you're looking for but i'll even try to get them through the content first before we talk live because if they'll take the time to do it and this is the other benefit of having a short book i can say hey the audio book is only like an hour or two hours they're like, oh, okay, I'll check that out. Well, then they have me in their head for two hours teaching them about LinkedIn prior to having a live call. Huge advantage, right? Or, oh, yeah, the template ebook uh, is like 17 pages. You're looking for help with your LinkedIn profile. Hey, before we talk live, um, I'm going to send you a free copy of my ultimate LinkedIn profile template. You don't have to implement anything. I just want to show you kind of the secret sauce and how we do profiles. And you'll see examples in the book of before and after client profiles to get them excited to go, oh, wow, this guy really knows his stuff. This is really good. I see why, 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 why this strategy would work. Now I want you to do it for me. So again, I love, love, love book funnels. I can't talk about them enough. So with all that said, uh, I want you to go uh, in the show notes, in the links. I'll put a link at the top to the video training version of this so you can kind of see. And if you want to take it deeper, I'll put in links to my secret sauce online course, how to implement this funnel, how to create a book funnel, all that good stuff. I'll also put in links to my free book funnels so you can get the LinkedIn Riches book, the ultimate profile template, content marketing machine, whatever you want. Uh, You can see how it works going inside my funnel. So thanks so much for listening. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you check the show notes to get deeper into some of the video trainings and I will see you soon on another episode. 